Chloe, what will you have for lunch? Meatloaf. This is our lunch. That's bread, the meatloaf, and a salad. And for me, I'm uh, perfecting the recipe for a coconut flour mug cake with cheese. It's nice. It passes your test or not? It passes. Sure? Hello, welcome back to a video in Bice Bites. Today, we are making a family recipe called Meatloaf Joining by Gabrielle Barry. Hello. This is the family. The wife is out. So, three of us are making the meatloaf. That's Gabrielle, Aishi and me. So, Let's start with the ingredients and uh, let's make the meatloaf. of carrots the carrot has to be chopped finely last and not the least onions 200 grams onions also chopped fine now we cook the onions ginger garlic paste and carrots and uh, season the mix we have to cook the onions and carrots first before putting them on the bins. So we'll just start now and uh, I'll lead you through the step. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. I use coconut oil, it's the only oil we have. The onions. Making sure to strain stir them so that they don't burn. I'll use some salt to let the onions leave water. Now I'll add the ginger garlic paste. Just stir it for two minutes so that the paste does not burn. Once you get the flavor from the ginger garlic paste, we will add the carrots. That's the carrots. This is for the kids, so that's why it has carrots. The sweetness of the carrots helps the kids eat more. I let it cool for five minutes before assembling the loaf. Now that the onions and carrots are cool, we'll, uh, we'll mix and do the last step before we put them into the oven or tobo. I have put the onions and carrots in the mix of uh, beef and the sausage. I had time because of cooking the beef 
uh, onions and carrots. So I mix the beef and the sausage together. I have put the onions and carrots in. Now it's 80 grams of coconut flour. Yes, I use a lot of coconut flour in cooking. Uh, it's healthy. I don't get uh, insulin rush and uh, the kids like it also. I am putting the spices. and one egg I use a little bit of mozzarella in the inside for the stretchability of the mozzarella the kids like it and uh, I'll put a little bit of barbecue sauce inside and finish off uh, with barbecue sauce on top also. After the mozzarella, a little bit of barbecue sauce. And then we we'll complete the loaf and uh, straight to the oven. Now the finish of the loaf, the rest of the barbecue sauce. If you think you need some extra, please do add. I use a sugar free barbecue sauce. Recipes to follow. And the last and not the least, the mozzarella. And this goes into a turbo broiler for um, an hour. Our turbo broiler is preheating. 200 degrees 10 minutes so we'll have a hot turbo once the beef is packed and ready the meat loaf is in I've covered it with aluminum foil and I have made holes for the skin to escape now we'll cook it for one hour 30 minutes and then 30 minutes without the cover. It's on for 30 minutes. The first 30 minutes are nearly over. Thirty minutes of cooking with cover. Now it's the cooking without the cover. Two hundred degrees. Two hundred degrees. Thirty minutes. And it's off and rocking. There's 10 minutes left, you can see the crust and you can see the cheese melting and it's ready to serve. I'm just giving it 10 more minutes because I like the beef to be cooked for one hour. It's done now and you can see the color. I will just rest it for 5 minutes and uh, lunch is served. 
children will be children. We are enjoying our lunch and uh, see you in the next vlog. I hope you make the meatloaf and tag Bari's Bites so that we can see any comments that you post. Thank you for following and please subscribe and like and comment. Thank you.